What's up everybody? Ben here at The Spirit of Running and today we're talking about the Hoka Mach 6. I'm excited to say that the Mach 6 has a lot of brand new features. So if you loved the Mach series, but you know, try, went looking for something more durable, bring it on back because uh, the Mach 6 is a whole new shoe. For the men, this shoe is gonna weigh in at 8.2 ounces. For women, 6.6 .6 ounces. It has a five millimeter drop and retails for $140. Looking at the outsole, we now have a full coverage of rubber. It's not the stickiest rubber, so if you're running in wet conditions, definitely just kind of be careful of your footfall. I do notice that when I'm running, I, I almost have better grip than when I'm walking. All the running locations here in Houston, it's, it's, it's a true concrete. So if you're running on asphalt, I think you've got enough grip in the, the street that combined with the rubber outsole, you're not gonna have an issue. On my pair, you can see where there is some exposed midsole material, where that I would say is, is consistent with a traditional Hoka, but you can see that once it gets to the rubber, I've got a you know still really nice layer of rubber here. So I think that the shoe overall is gonna be much more durable than its predecessors, and that we're gonna get a lot more life out of the shoe because of this additional rubber layer on the outsole. Another big update for the Mach 6 is they've updated the midsole material. We've now got a super critical EVA. Super critical foam just means that it's gone through an extra chemical process when they're building the shoe. What I found is that you know, it, it tends to be a little more responsive, a little bouncier. So you get a little, little more push off of the pavement when you're running. For me, I think that this only enhances the mock, which I think has always lent itself more towards tempo running. Um, it wants to go a little faster than say the Clifton or, you know, for sure the Bondi. But I think that, you know, this also is gonna help with some durability issues. We're not gonna see some of that crushing as much as we did in, in former versions of the shoe. So I think that we're gonna get a much more durable shoe. It feels faster, um, it feels a little bouncier um, as we run. With the upper, we get a Krill Jockered upper. There's plenty of cushion here in the heel collar. Not a whole lot of material in the tongue. It does the job, prevents the laces from kind of biting into you. My big issue with the mock this year is the sizing. Previous versions of the mock have had a lot more volume uh, top to bottom. It's had a lot of depth. I think that a lot of people are finding they need to move up about a half size in this shoe. I went true to size and I got used to it fairly quickly, but I definitely had some initial regrets with the sizing that I went with. Although, I'm definitely not trading in my pink shoe for anything. So overall, I feel like I got used to the, to, to the feel of the shoe. I think it was just a little off-putting because the Mach series has always had a lot more volume. Play around with it, go in and try it on, see what you think about it. But I would definitely you know, try on your true to size and maybe a half size up. I think if you have traditionally worn the Mach because it fits a little wider because it did have more volume, we may need to look for a, a, a different option for you. Try that half size up and see, see how that adjustment works out out for you. Runners and walkers, I think that this shoe for Hoka has always been a little bit of a Swiss army knife. It's designed to do a little bit of everything, but it favors that tempo session. So we're talking about that speed where you're moving past a conversational pace and you know, get working a little harder, trying to pick up some, some, some speed and get some turnover into the legs. The Mach 6 still favors that, especially now that we've gotten that super critical um, EVA in the midsole. It runs easy just as well as it runs quicker. It really is a shoe that you can kind of do a little bit of everything in. One of the things that I like about this shoe is that it doesn't have a plate. So if you have had some issues with plantar fasciitis or any kind of Achilles calf issues, having a shoe that is made to go a little faster but without that plate in the midsole, whether we're talking a carbon or like a nylon plate, um, I think is an advantage. It's definitely a shoe to consider if you've, if you've had some, some previous injuries and you're working on picking your speed back up but you don't want to go full, go into that plated shoe realm yet. And I think it's just a fun shoe to run in. The stack height feels really nice. You get a, a really good amount of cushion but it still allows for some versatility what in running surface as well as you know like I said, running speeds. So I think that this really is a shoe that you can do your daily runs in, do your tempo work in, um, you know, pushing up into interval and, you know, really like really hard running. I think that it's, it's a great racing shoe as well, especially if you want to avoid those carbon plated shoes, but you want a, a nice lightweight peppy shoe. Um, definitely give the Mach 6 a try. I don't think you're going to regret it.
I think if you're if you're heading to the gym in the, in the mock I don't have an issue with this for the most part it's stable and sturdy enough and it's not gonna crush underfoot when you're doing your 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 lifting and your exercises so I think that you know if you can definitely hit your cardio hit it hard because it is a hoka it does have a, a thicker midsole so if your cardio is rower or or bike based you might have to like really you know tug down on those those straps to lock into the machine but if if you're gonna hit the treadmill or the elliptical hop off and get your get your workout in for nine out of ten um, um, lifts. I don't have an issue with this, especially if you're mostly dumbbell based. Like with a lot of the shoes that I review, if you're gonna be doing deadlifts or heavy squats, maybe just pop the shoes off, get those barefoot, and then uh, put your shoes back on and, and keep everybody at the gym happy um, you know, with, with having your shoes on. For daily life, I love it. I think that it's you know 10 out of 10. And the biggest issue with, with this shoe for running or daily life or the gym is gonna be the fit. It's a, it's a new fit this year, especially for that daily shoe. I think you can run true to size. You're not gonna have any issues with it because having that extra volume isn't as important in your daily wear shoe as it is in the running shoe. But just depending on what your, your, your personal preferences are, if you like a little more volume in your shoes, then maybe think about going a half size up in this shoe as well. It comes in a wide range of colors. I special ordered the pink one for myself. was really excited when I, when I found out it came with the, um, the confetti in the midsole as well. But it does come in you know, much more neutral, neutral tones. So um, you got everything from black and white to beige to, you know, to, to pink and confetti. So whatever your, your, your uniform is or your work attire is, I think that you know, you're gonna have a good option for, for that daily life as well. If you have any questions or comments, drop those down below. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, it helps make sure that you don't miss out on any future content and it helps other people find the channel as well. For written reviews and the latest information, go to spiritofrunning.com. Stay safe, keep moving forward, we'll see you out there.